Welcoming you from positive and OVC team to all of you over there. After the heats of AIMS, PGA, JIPMA and all the examinations, you all will be cooling your heels. At this juncture, we extend our heartiest congratulations from the OVC team to all the toppers in various examinations and our best wishes for candidates who will be taking a fresh aim in the forthcoming examinations. This is basically an introductory session for the program of Operational Capsule 7 at Chennai in the month of March 2015. At the onset, let me dedicate this program to my God, Sri Ayyappan. When we went through AIMS November 2014 and JIGMA November 2014 questions, cut. Sound one, around 120 to 25 questions in AIMS and JIGMA November 2014 was aptly discussed at various programs at positive. O positive OSC 6. Around 110 questions were discussed in the two books of OH and OHC. Now, when we went through this paper, AIMS and JIMMA number 2014, we found that it was a very decent paper. Few questions caught our attention most. We are given it for your kind pursuer, kindly go through that. The first question was regarding a rheumatic heart disease patient and the question was this. Please go through that. The heartening aspect was the answer in this question was aptly sitting in the operatory textbook. Please go through the discussion which has been given here. The other question which caught our attention was asked in AIMS November 2014 and it is this question. The answer for this question also was aptly sitting in this textbook and the discussion is given here for your kind information. These two questions in the examinations was new and fresh. When I was discussing with some of my toppers in the examinations, I discussed regarding these two questions. Most of them had either opted out or had made a hazarded guess for these questions. A truth regarding entrance exam preparation struck me immediately. We had shown them the areas from which new fresh questions are framed in the examinations and given it in the easier format of operationary book and the beauty was it was promptly asked in the examinations but it was not capitalized even by toppers. So, the truth was, even toppers found it cumbersome to stretch that extra yard to get fresh new questions in the examinations because the answers were lying in a relative depth. It made us to ponder the method of delivering it in a format which can help everyone to use it effectively and efficiently and easily. And so, we decided to travel that extra yard to give it in the most easily accessible form which can be assimilated by every PG aspirant and that was just simple MCQs. So what we have done, we have tried to mincemeat each and every page of Operation Harry book and put it into 5 questions maximum. If the pictures are there, then it might be 2 or 3 questions per page. And this has been called as page 5. Each and every thing, every entrance exam oriented points will be now sitting there as simple MCQs for the grabbing. All new fresh entrance exam oriented points will be there as simple MCQs for everyone to answer. This is called as page 5 and this will, be a, this will play a decisive role in this latest Operation Capsule 7 program. The, co the, the exact schedule is on March. It is for 12 days in a span of 14 days. Every fourth day there will be break for one day so that you can revise and come back recharged 
for the complete program. The timing is from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. The venue is Damien Foundation, Chaitpat Chennai. Coming to the OHC 7 study materials, what are the things you will be getting it in the course? It is Operation Harry book, which is the second edition of the two volumes. Operation Harry capsule book, Fossey Gold, which is a collection of the latest five-year question papers of AIMS and All India. MKT must know tables, around 300 tables from standard textbooks trimmed towards entrance exams from all major subjects has been provided as a book. Forensic medicine handout, author handout and anatomy handout comprises your OHC 7 study package. We have provided evidences for approximately 125 questions out of the student questions in AIMS normal 2014. The results in OHC 6 was not of that standard. That means whatever has happened inside the course has not been properly assimilated and translated into ranks. We don't want that to continue and we want to make it set it right so that anybody who comes to OHC 7 will invariably end up either as a topper or will get his PG seat of choice in the shortest time possible. So to devise that, we have come up with this the refined program at OHC 7 which can be aptly summarized like this page 5, phase 5, top 5. Now I'll explain about that in detail. OHC 7 can be like in nephrology OHC 7 can also be classified as pre-OHC preparation, OHC preparation and post-OHC preparation. Now we will step into pre-OHC. This time our OHC program actually doesn't start from March, it starts the day you register with OHC. Once you register with OHC, phase 1 starts. This will be that. This will be from Jan 2015. Once you register, you will get Operation Harry and Operation Harry capsule book within four days, so that you can start preparing early. A kind request: four hours per day, please spend with Operation Harry book. In my in my opinion, an ideal full time preparing individual should prepare for at least 14 to 16 hours per day so that rest 10 to 12 hours per day of your preparation you can use it for your rest of preparation so that simultaneously you utilize Operation Harry capsule materials and you can solidify your basic preparation also. This is phase 1 at OHC 7. This phase 1 will end with the online examination. You will receive a password to access an online examination which will be sent to you on 31.115. This, this online examination is based on page 5 questions from volume 1 of Operation Harry book. 200 questions, absolutely AIMS pattern. The phase 3 starts in February 2015. Phase 3 OHC 7. Your preparation 4 hours per day with OH book should extend into the OHC book also. In that book, the SPM and physiology extract should be utilized as much as possible. At the end of that month, February 2015, you will receive a password to access another online examination which will be sent to you on 28 2 2015. This is based on page 5 questions from volume 2 of Operation Harry and OHC book. Again, 200 questions, AIMS pattern. The in, now we will go into OHC program. OHC program now goes into phase 4. It is in March 2015. It is the actual course. This 12 days course. If you have come reasonably prepared with what we have requested, definitely OHC 7 will be an absolutely brainstorming session which will definitely churn out 
you need to top us. This will be 12 days in a span of 14 days. There are two off days in between to recharge you so that the entire program you are completely charged. 10 days are exclusively for the discussion of the 18th edition of Harrison based discussion. We will cover the 18th edition of Harrison completely so that all new fresh questions can be cornered comfortably by us. The other topics which will be discussed inside the session will be SPM. The SPM discussion I requested him cut my consultant to focus mainly on statistics because statistics needs a person to clearly explain so that you can understand it and get it correct. In my opinion, there are some questions which inside the exam hall, I'll call them morale boosters. Example question, example of those morale boosting questions are one, asset based balance question. Second, this SPM statistics. If you are able to come to a conclusive answer of an SPM statistics question, methodically going through the steps of the calculation, your confidence inside the exam hall become, will become sky high and that will rub into the other subjects and your performance will improve at least 5 to 10 percentage. So this SPM will be predominantly statistics based but all other entrance oriented points from SPM will be discussed com completely. The other topic which will be discussed inside the OHC7 program is off there because Three subjects rule aims examinations. They are, they are as we know, it is medicine, SPM, and off care. So half day dis discussion will be completely off care. The request which I made to my consultant was the off care class should be of a off care PG standard, so that any tough question asked from aims or Jigma Norm 2014 from off care can be comfortably answered. Every day at OHC, we we'll start with an exam, 50 questions from page 5 from the topic discussed on the previous day. Total examinations will be 10 and it and will act as an intra OHC revision. So, your revision of OHC program will start inside OHC itself. Every day, we will we'll finish it with an exam, 50 questions from the previous year's papers so that you are very well versed with the previous exam papers also because March examinations the number of repeats will be little more comparing number examinations. New session which we have included in OHC 7 is called as controversial repeats. All controversial repeats from 2012 onwards till 2014 examinations from AIMS will be discussed in a 4 hour session because mostly it is those controversial repeats which are asked again in various examinations. 7. We have got two requests for candidates who will be with us at OHC 7. 100 percentage, 110 percentage. What is that? We request 100 percent attendance and 110 percent commitment. I am not worried whether you are a medal student or a distinctive holder, the only request we want is 110% commitment. With our efforts and God's grace, we can achieve our common goal. The phase 5 at OHC is in April 2015. It is It can be compared as post OHC phase. So, what is a post OHC request to you all? 4 hours pre OHC should become 5 hours post OHC for revising what all has happened at the OHC program. And the, in the month of April, at the end of May, April, to be precise, on 34 2015, you will get a password for accessing two online examinations. We presume you have utilized April completely so that whatever has happened in OHC 7 is completely revised by you and you are ready to face any examination. So, these two online examinations will help you mold your preparation. One exam 
will be AIMS May 2015 mock examination 200 questions. The other exam will be JIGMA May 2015 mock examination around 240. These two examinations will make you exactly assess your self preparation so that the main examination will become cakewalk. I recollect the phases at OHS 7 will go through. This phase 5 starts right from January 2015. Phase 1 and 2 is in January 2015 when you start preparing with OH and OHC books. Phase 2 is the one you will be getting the first examination to assess where you stand. Phase 3 starts with you revising the second part of your OH and OHC books. That will be completed with one more examination you will be getting online. Phase 4 is intra OHC. Those 12 days at OHC 7 is called as phase 4. Phase 5 is compared as post OHC preparation. So, if these 5 phases are methodically implemented by us and by you, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3, phase 4 and phase 5, then phase 6 that is your top ranks in any examination will become a reality. If page 5 and phase 5 is properly utilized by any individual, top 5 ranks in any examination in May will be all yours. The other aspect which will be considering in OHA 7 is any candidate who, who is with us for OHA 7 should get their PG seat of choice in the shortest time possible. If we do what we have promised, and if you do what we have requested, then sky is the limit. Any exam can be a cakewalk. With your cooperation and God's blessings, we will achieve our common goal of succeeding in entrance examinations and coming out with flying colors in various examinations by May 2015 itself. Welcoming you all to Chennai in the month of March 2015. March along with positive towards your goal of succeeding in entrance examinations. Thanks a lot for a patient audience. Best wishes in all your examinations. Thanks a lot.